Thank you friends for supporting my channel. Actually we can't improve our speed without uh, practicing the hard words before dictation. So please pause this video and practice the words. Okay, I hope you have practiced the words. So the dictation of the day starts now. Sir, concern has been voiced in the report on the threat from the sea that is the Indian Ocean. It is so obvious that old colonial countries and those who have a little handover that outlook have not forgotten the showing of the flag through the old gunboat diplomacy or now in modern parallels called force diplomacy, especially the superpowers who tend to interact into local disputes and get opportunities for intervention in such matters. No presence of any external powers is what we stand for and this is what our aim should be. But together with this, we should not neglect the littoral states of the Indian Ocean. Four of these littoral states have got a very modern, well-developed submarine arm. Seven of them have got the latest guided missiles and one of them has made a very big base right next to the neighbor in the west into the Indian Ocean which looks meaningfully. I am saying this because we should not caught up in the Digo Garcia affairs but we should view the whole situation with more practicality. The only way to solve this problem in time to come is to build up our own naval powers. In respect of that, I feel in the last few years there has been a little trend of rethinking in the building up of our naval power. But even today with the allotment to the Navy being only about rupees 175 crores, the ratio of budget of the Navy is still within 10% of the entire defense budget. Para. Modern countries having a Navy worth the name are spending at least one third of their defense budget on the Navy. Whatever constraints hold us from doing so is best for the minister to look into. But my plea would be that the Navy deserves much greater attention than it has so far received. I must compliment the Navy for its fine turn out as I had the privilege of viewing the naval review recently held in Bombay and it certainly was a stirring sight to see the Navy and all its ships displaying very good morale. The task of the Navy being a dimensional service is only to defend the country's long coastline is its trade and sea lanes but also to patrol and keep good watch on potential threats. This is essential for our security. Okay, thanks.